So I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I want to approach stores in Amsterdam later this week to sell my products. Now I've had my fashion brand for only like six months and I have one wholesale account in Maastricht and it's great. I love it. They're selling things. It's fun. It's exciting. But I just feel like I want to offer more to wholesale accounts and Maastricht is not really my customer base. As you can see behind me, my brand is very like bold and colorful and it's a bit too much for the Maastricht people. So I want Want to approach Amsterdam. I feel like there's way more young professionals, creatives, fashion forward people where they're more willing to take fashion risks and to wear things like this. There's a car going by so I have to wait because it's so loud. Now of course I already made a list because love a list and I actually also got to start a new notebook. It's not cute at all but it's just what I had and I have to make use of everything. Also side note, I don't know about you, but I always skip the first page in any notebook or sketchbook because I feel like it's just so much pressure to make it look cute and I just can't handle that. So I just always start on page two and I leave the first one blank. So on my page two, I have my list of all the things that I want to do today and all the things that I want to prepare for approaching the stores later this week. I bought these new scissors if I can get it out of the package. Oh, okay, that was easy. Ooh. These, <laughs> they're like a little zigzag zipper. Zipper, they're like a zigzag scissor. Oh, they're quite stiff, oh well. In English, we call them pinking shears. And then I asked the lady, I went to the market on Friday and asked the lady at the booth, I'm like, do you have pinking shears? And she looked at me like, what? And I was like, oh, I don't know how else to say. I was like, the scissors with the, you know, the zigzag. And she's like, oh, and then she said it in Dutch and it was like, zach, zigzag, zigzag, with the G's, which means like, um, scissor, zigzag. And I was like, okay, we'll do, we'll do that. I'll just call it zach, zigzag, zach, zigzag. I don't know. It was kind of difficult to say. Pinking shears or zigzag scissors. I do have a lookbook already. I think I just need to update it and I want to look at my pricing again just to make sure that my wholesale pricing is exactly where I want it to be. If you watched the last two videos that I put out, you would see that I'm working on this new design for the summer and I was thinking about offering it to stores, but I'm not quite 100% about the design and I don't want to rush it. So I don't want to rush myself if they do want a shirt and I'm like, yeah, I can have it in May. And then I'm just like super stressed about production. So we're just going to offer the stores the jacket and both size flower bags. I feel like that's a good start. I want to start by making fabric swatches, but I have so many colors and patterns that I want to have like physical swatches. So I want them to be able to like feel the material, feel how thick the jackets are or the flower bags are, you know? This is all the fabric I know that I've made something out of and we can start there. And then I am actually currently working on a small flower bag restock. So I'm also gonna just add swatches of the bags I know I'm going to make, but still aren't made yet. But I have like this tiny scrap, but I can make a decent size sample piece. Like maybe, I don't know, like this big. Well, we'll do the green in the right direction. Maybe like this big. Oh, you know what? I should also check, I should check my scrap bag as well. So I feel like this bag, probably where we'll get the most. There's so much in here. Okay, this one I know I need. This one. This one. Okay, yeah, this is way better. Ooh. This is still one of my all-time favorite fabrics. I just love it, it's so cute.
everything pressed here. Now I'm just actually draw, drawing a square on the back of the fabric so I can keep all my pieces pretty consistent. Like I'll use this as a template. Maybe I should actually do separate piles. Like one pile is like the jacket fabrics, then the XL bag fabrics and then the small bags. I feel like it's more organized and I love to organize things. This is like fun to me. Super organized and have no idea if I'm actually gonna use it. But it's better to be overprepared than underprepared. Ooh. Oh, I love. Nice, cute. I feel like my hand is gonna hurt when this is done. Swatch one. I really like how it turned out. Like, look at the cute little zigzag edges. Swatch one. And a lot more to go. If you're wondering like why are you making so many swatches for all your stuff it's because every item is so unique because i use secondhand materials so i sometimes get only enough of this fabric to make one jacket so it's one style jacket but every size has different colors or different prints so that's why i have to make so many samples because these are all jackets but like this color is one jacket in a small this color is a jacket in an m another small it's kind of like every one swatch is one product, maybe two. As much work as this is, I have no idea if I'm going to even reach the point where I'm like, here's all my samples, let's, let's go through them and talk about it. But we'll stay optimistic. They probably will just be like, yeah, send me an email. And I'll be like, okay, sounds good. Please read the email though. That would be nice. This is what it's looking like so far. I actually already made little labels just to have a better understanding of what I need to cut. So I put tickies beside the ones I need to cut here. But it's going well. Like this is all the coat linings, the different linings that I use, but the extra small coats, small, medium, and large coats. And then these are my piles for the extra large bags that are already made. And then the small bags that I'm currently working on, but I know that I want to use this fabric. We're getting there. We're getting close. The other thing I'm concerned about, which is like such a me problem, is that I don't know if it sounds ridiculous. I look so young for my age and I sometimes worry that people don't take me serious because they think I'm so young and have a whatever business. When in reality, I worked in the industry for I guess 10 years, like just doing retail, but also working at a studio. I studied fashion design. Like I do know how to make really good quality clothes, but I just have to. A, I have to look the part. Like what am I gonna wear? and like how am I gonna style myself so I don't look like I'm 12 and I need to maybe like drop comments in my sales pitch I know what I'm talking about and I know what I'm doing kind of but I'm not just like 12 years old trying to sell you my like craft projects you know that's my one concern <laughs> but I guess like this whole styling thing is a later problem of when I actually go to Amsterdam I'm gonna think about seriously think about what I'm gonna wear I don't know how to connect these all because I want it to be like something you can flick through, right? Like a book or something. Oh, I could use like a clamp, like a big bulldog clamp and you can flip through like this. And also, this will be such a good reference for myself in the future, just of everything I've made and all the fabrics. I think I just need to get some bulldog clips then because that's something I don't have, but it's a very useful thing for this.
I have my little swatch books. This is all the crop jackets of course in the size order so you can go through and see all the different sizes and the different patterns and then at the end i just have the three different linings that i've used and then of course these are the xl flower bags these are all the ones that i've already had made so i can go through this as well and just say like there's one of each here if you want them all you can have them all you know now i have to cut my business cards out and you're probably thinking what do you mean by cut your business cards out <laughs> i got all this I have them printed on A4, but I need to actually cut out the square. So it's like this. Now, usually when I send an order, I send it like this. And there's a QR code on the back. And if you scan it, it goes to my Instagram. And then there's a reel that shows you how to fold this into the final business card, which is this. And you might remember these when you were a kid. I feel like they're nostalgic for everybody. No matter where you're from, how old you are, everyone remembers these. I just need to pop it open. In Canada, we call them cootie catchers. You know the little like fortune tellers? So on the outside, I have all my information like email, Instagram, website, and YouTube. Usually you ask a question and then you go through the process and you get an answer at the end. So the question I pose, which is on here in the middle, is like, what's your style? And all the final answers are different like aesthetics that you can have like avant-garde, classic, bohemian, punk. Of course, it's not accurate, but <laughs> I think it's fun because it's like an interactive business card. You would remember this, which is important. I'm going to cut these and just watch my YouTube. I have a bunch of videos that I have to catch up on. One last thing, which is just pack one of each item. The jackets are downstairs, but I think I'm gonna do one that I feel like the construction is the best on, which I think is actually the red striped jacket, the big striped one, because I took a lot of time and care and precision to match up all of the stripes. And for small flower bags, I'm gonna do this Yusha one so they know what a solid color one looks like. And in here I have all the extra large bags. I kind of want to do this plaid one because it used to be a hammock, which I think is super fun. And then they can get a really good understanding of fun prints, solid prints, and what things I use to make my products. I feel like those three are like a good representation of my brand. I could be handing out business cards all day. That's totally a possibility, but at least I'm super prepared. I have my three products that I feel like represent my brand. My cute and amazing little swatch books, I guess, that I'm obsessed that I have, even for myself, just to keep a record of my fabric. All my business cards, and yeah. But I'll see you next week. I'm gonna take you to Amsterdam and we'll talk about how it goes. Wish me luck. Bye.